My name is Lauren and I am here with Summer Starts at EPL and today we are going to talk about bugs by doing a buggy life cycle craft. Now, you might have noticed that I am dressed like a cockroach today and a cockroach is a type of insect. Now, how do we know I'm an insect? Well, I have a head, I have a thorax, I have an abdomen, I have six legs and I have two antennas to help me explore the world. Now, insects have six legs but there are lots of other kinds of bugs that have more than six legs, like an arachnid. A uh, spider would be a good example of an arachnid, and they have eight legs. Centipedes and millipedes, they have lots of legs. <laughs> but if I have six legs, I am an insect. And today, we are going to be talking about and making a craft for the life cycle of a butterfly. And a butterfly is a type of insect. And I'm going to go through what you need for this craft and then show you how to make it. So let's get started. So you're going to need some paper plates. Uh, if you don't have paper plates, a piece of paper will work as well. And then you're going to need some pasta shapes and some other sort of dried goods. So you're going to want to represent the different stages of the butterfly life cycle using your pasta and other dried goods. So I am using little dried peas for eggs. I'm using some fusilli pasta as the caterpillar, some shell pasta as the chrysalis, and some little bow tie pastas for the butterfly. But whatever you have at home that you think will work for those shapes, you go ahead and use it. Or if you're missing one or two, be creative. Draw in the life cycle stage that you're missing. And then what I do is I divide the paper plate into four sections with a marker. And I've labeled each of the sections. So a butterfly life cycle, they start off as eggs and then they hatch out into caterpillars. And then the caterpillars eat and eat and eat and eat, and then they turn into a chrysalis. And butterflies undergo what's called metamorphosis. And that means they're going to change their form. So they're gonna change their form and they're gonna come out of their chrysalis as a butterfly. So now that we've got that all figured out, you're gonna glue down each of your pasta or your dry goods into each of your stages. So again, I've got peas for eggs, fusilli or rotini for caterpillars, I've got a shell pasta for the chrysalis and a bow tie pasta for the butterfly. And then last but not least, you can decorate each of your stages. Oh no, I lost my caterpillar. Let's add one in there. There we go. Um, you can decorate each of your stages with markers, with crayons. I put my eggs on a leaf. I gave my caterpillar some grass to munch on. I gave um, my little chrysalis a twig to hang from and I gave my butterflies teeny tiny little antennas. And that's how you do your butterfly life cycle craft. Can you think of any other creatures that have a life cycle? Did you think of a frog life cycle? Frogs hatch from eggs as tadpoles. They slowly start to grow limbs, their front legs and their back legs, and as they grow, they lose their tail. Eventually, they grow into an adult frog. The really cool thing about a frog life cycle is, as tadpoles, they breathe air in the water through their gills, and as adults, they breathe air on land through their lungs. Pretty neat, hey! Want to learn more about bugs? Visit epl.ca, digital content, kids online resources, and scroll down to National Geographic Kids. You will need your library card and PIN number to access this free resource. Ask your parent or guardian if you're not sure what it is. Once you're there, you can search bugs to see what kind of buggy videos, magazines, and more you can discover, all free with your library card. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to check out epl.ca slash summer starts for more fun activities. While you're there, remember to log your reading minutes. Your weekly submission counts as one entry into our grand prize draw. You can also enter to win our weekly contest, Find Turtle Swift, and you can enter to win a free book. Thank you so much for joining me and make sure to check out next week um, for more fun activities from Summer Starts at EPL. Bye. Remember, share your creations with us at hashtag SummerStartsEPL.